Hello, I'm gonna vlog. First, I thought I'd show you things I got. Um, I went to Matalan today to click and collect these shoes. I haven't actually been in Matalan since I was a kid. Um, the reason why I got these shoes from Matalan is they're exactly what I wanted for cheap price. They were £17 and they're these. They're so cute. I got them because I, basically on Saturday I'm going to bath and I have this outfit. I'm actually gonna do, I kinda wanna get back into YouTube so I'm gonna do a get ready with me on saturday it's gonna have to be really early like five o'clock but yeah i kind of want to get back into youtube hence why i'm doing this video now i was looking for specific buckled black shoes and i had a look and i have been trying to match a bath mat that goes in my bathroom i'll show you in a minute when i put it down um and i thought the vibe was like bluish but then i got a blue bath mat and it like looks a bit out of place i got this this was £11. I also, while I was there, I got a bath towel. White is not the best, but it was like the cheapest one there. And I just like needed a new bath towel. And it was on sale for a five art. Then we got like a couple of bras, but I'm sad because they don't fit me. So I think I'm just gonna return them. I don't know if you can return bras, but I'll Google it later and see if I can. Then I got this duvet set. It was on sale for it from £16 to pounds to £8. Pounds. There's these cute little flowers on it. Um, I thought it was a bargain and you know, like, I don't know how many of you relate to this, but when you just move into a place and you have no money, you just take whatever anyone gives you. Or like, for example, I used my mum's old duvet set and her old pillowcases and everything like that. And then when you start sort of settling in a bit and spending and getting more money, then that's when you buy it. So like, I'm in the stage at the moment of buying my duvet sets, which is very exciting. I haven't actually done much to my room. My bedroom as you can probably tell like, like this room is pretty almost finished i obviously need to get some pictures i then got these hooks to put on the back of my bathroom door there was some like seashell ones but and they look better but i wasn't too sure if they would even fit on my door so that's why i got the cheaper ones they're just like metal hooks whatever and then i've got a fitted sheet apparently comes with two pillowcases too and lastly i got some new tights because mentally i'm out of winter emotionally i'm out of winter but as we know with the English weather, we can never trust it. So I'm wearing, for example, I bought this also for Saturday. I'm wearing short socks, but I'll need something on my legs probably. I just got a notification that my Amazon orders come in in like an hour or so. Guys, look at my bath mat. It's perfect. It like exactly goes. I basically wanted to go with these tiles. And I know it's grey, but I refuse to get like grey decor because it's just, I just don't really like it. And the hooks fit on the back of the door, which is so exciting. <laughs> Oh shit, don't close. Ah, for sake. Why don't it close? That was my old bath mat. Um, as you can see, it just didn't really go with the vibe. Um, my theme is going to be like musky pink now, I've decided. Um, it's quite exciting because this cream goes with that cream. This, I need to get a new bin. But other than that, I mean, it's quite annoying this thing shutting. But what can you do? Hello, I just woke up from a nap. Um, it's time to cook dinner and I have nothing in, but I found this soup. It's like vegetable soup. Uh, not gonna lie, when I was just about to nap, I almost couldn't nap because I was thinking about it. it. Turns out that you can buy, if you can see, in my doorways I have little mats. This one, my dog weed on, so there's a stain on it. But you can get the things that adjoin the rooms without actually having like the feed carpet in that. So I won't have any need for these mats. But then I was like, okay, let me think about this. Here is the last bit of carpet that I haven't got covered. So if I take this, put that there, and then take one of these, one or two of these, and see how much it can cover up. I feel like that, it's, it's a good idea of mine, isn't it? Well, I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll see. I'm gonna sweep the floor there first. Excuse the shoe. Um, I have no door stops that actually keep my door open because they're quite high off the ground. This is what I'm working with at the moment, which is a lot better than just a bare floor. Um, yeah, happy with how that turned out. I think I'm just gonna keep the, these floors bare. I feel like they look better like it anyway. When my boyfriend was doing the floors, he was a bit um, messy with the glue, not to his fault. So there's like glue residue on there, which the rug was covering up. So I'm gonna try and scrape that off. It's all starting to come together. But, so my Amazon parcel came. And then my socks. Should we try them on with my new shoes the reason why i got them i do feel like i'm gonna start doing some irish dancing okay my soup is done i forgot how soup uh, how soupy salty it was this is not all the way defrosted also so i couldn't break it in half but i just put a lot of pepper on it to counteract it 
It's time for my eyebrow shave. I shave half of my eyebrows off. I try to do it twice a week. Always like if I don't have nowhere to go, then I just sort of just let them grow. I can't bother. I did like go through a little phase of growing my old eyebrows back and I like made, not a big deal, but like I was like so happy with myself that I was doing that. And that lasted like two weeks. I just like, I just prefer the look of the eyebrows on me that I like shaved off and then myself draw them on. The reason why I put a moisturiser on is so I don't cut my skin open. What I usually do is I put like the torch on my face because when you put a bright light on your face you can properly see all the like stray hairs. But obviously I'm using my phone to record so I can't do that today. So I have an eyebrow razor. I got this from Amazon. Another reason why I love doing this is because both my eyebrows are not even and it's actually more effort to draw on my eyebrows when they're, when they're natural to try and make it look as even as possible. Not the best at shaving so I do cut my eyebrow quite a lot. I have a problem like under my eyebrows, they get so so dry. It's not like because of my skin, well it is because of my skin but it's because I use this setting spray. It's so good, it makes my eyebrows stay. However, it's, I think it's the alcohol, it really dries out my skin. So I'm like kind of on a, a journey of trying to find a new one. I did just buy a new one of this, so I do want to get through it. What are you doing? Thing is, I've got one of my mum's dogs here. Well, I've got both of them. But one of them is like just turned one. So he chews everything and I don't know if he's chewing a wire. Okay, I need the torch now. Eyebrows are done. One is shorter than the other, that's on purpose because this one starts to curve before this one. So then now I can get like a nice even. I haven't actually been doing my skincare. It is very hit and miss. Like if I'm on a night out and I come home, there's no way. Um, or if I'm tired, but I have been staying at my mum's because obviously my dogs. And so, yeah, I can... Not that I have bad skin. It's just like the other day I wore sun cream and my moisturiser is quite heavy so it does make me like break out in spots. I take all the moisturiser off my face and I don't really, I don't know the logic to this. I just feel like it makes sense for me to take moisturiser off my skin that like hasn't had time to settle. Then put my other skincare on otherwise there's like a barrier to it. I don't know. Especially because my moisturiser is quite heavy. Because I have a spot here I'm going to take this. And I'm going to directly put it on. And then I'm going to go round that and then put my night serum on. Also, I need to get back on wearing my sun cream. I'm really slacking. It's been sunny, like, on and off. And I think that's what's, like, sort of making it so I'm not consistent. So that is literally the extent of my skincare. I don't need anything else. But spot-wise, like, that's enough. I don't need to add anything else to my skincare. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, thanks for watching if you did. Goodbye.